Good evening everyone, welcome to El Medano in Tenerife. This is about 15 minutes away from the airport. We've come for a bit of food, we're gonna go for a Mexican, Mexican restaurant, maybe even a crepe. They have some lovely crepe cafes here as well. Really unique little town. So we're gonna take you with us. Um, Mexican food, Mexican restaurant. Haven't tried it before, but it's meant to be very nice. So let's stride on. <music> of little unique shops here as well really you know surf shops handmade shops loads of little unique stuff that's what's nice about El, El Medano unique restaurants unique shops really Spanish vibe but really nice as well really Mediterranean and then you've got loads of little gaps like this to go through into the ocean Those restaurants on the left have amazing views through to the ocean as well. A lot of them overlook the ocean or the beach side, so really nice area to see. To sit and have a meal, sunset, ocean, nice. Hey, I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known you would go find your own way. So feel the wind, watch the river run, and the sun would always shine. So you can come to the beach here as well. They have got a lovely beach. There's no deck chairs or anything, but you can come down, put your towel down, or bring your own stuff. Very popular little beach this. And when it's windy, you'll see all the kite surfers, wind surfers as well. But you can come down, chill on the beach all day, completely free. Really nice spot. So at the moment, it's about 6.30 I believe, um, and it's a lovely time to come for the sunset. If you come in the daytime, you're going to see a lot more activity in the ocean, loads of wind surfers, kite surfers, things like that. You can learn to do all that here as well, they've got all the shops and rental offices further down. Loads of Spanish restaurants, fish restaurants, um, cafes, loads of cool surf shops. It's a great little area to come and explore really nice even of an evening much cooler or the daytime both fantastic really unique it's literally about 10 15 minutes from the airport so 25 minutes from los chris and um, so you would need a car or as you could see you could get the bus as well if you do need a car don't forget sanasty.com um but yep yeah, you can get the bus here as well if you want to it's just something a bit different it's very different to las americas los cristianos that's for sure and I've spotted the Mexican restaurant that we're going to and it does look nice. So I'm looking forward to it. What a lovely little seat to sit in here. 
what a view. You can sit here, no problem, completely free. And you've got an amazing view right the way around, a full 180. What a great little spot. Great fun. Really is a different vibe to Las Americas and Los Chris, very different, a lot more local, but literally just down the road, 10 15 minutes from the airport, you're here. Different vibe, different feel, but very, very nice. And you can actually walk up that mountain there as well if you want to. You can walk all the way to the top of that. So I've worked up an appetite now, I'm going to walk back towards the Mexican and meet up with the rest of the gang. Malvida, which is Mexican. It's Day of the Dead themed, amazing theming. All stuff all over the ceiling, the tables, the walls, the theming is fantastic. Got a really good reputation. Looking forward to trying some Mexican food because there's not many Mexicans around at the moment, um, especially ones that are open. So, really looking forward to this. And I've got a nice cold beer just arrived as well. Didn't even order it. <laughs> Perfect. Not like me to have beer, but I'll have one if it's given. So they've got all your typical Mexican food, fajitas, quesadillas, uh, nachos, um, oh, there's loads on here, loads. And they do Mexican burgers, vegan burgers. So if you're vegan, they do a burger here. They've got vegan food, uh, American cheese burgers. If you're not a big Mexican fan, you can have it. You can just enjoy a burger. Um, salads. There's low tier desserts. Good desserts: brownie, carrot cake, red velvet cake. I've not seen that anywhere for a while. Um, ice creams, and of course, in the Mexican, they do loads of. Tequila. Tequilas. Tequila. Tequila cocktails, tequila shots, you name it, you, they've got loads up there. If you're a tequila fan, you're in. Fantastic menu so far. Looking forward to trying the food. Even the menu's dead funky. So 
Even the toilets are a bit funky. If you don't like graffiti, you're not gonna like the toilets. A really fun, cool design, really cool. All done on purpose, obviously, and they're all clean and well looked after. It just looks crazy. <laughs> I'm going to pinch a few of Sarah's mozzarella sticks and a few chicken dippers, I believe they're called. And then for mains, it's got to be the chicken fajitas if you're having Mexican. So going for the fajitas. A few others will mix it up, so I'll show you everyone's. What are you having, Mick? Burritos. Burritos, there you go, something different again. One pint. <laughs> So I've got the mozzarella sticks and the chicken dippers, I think they were called. I'm gonna dive in. And they're really nice. Nice, very nice. Take like one little piece of the chicken. They're good. The chicken's better than the mozzarella sticks, but they're both really nice. Fajitas are lovely, really flavourful, really juicy, and you've got even got like the black beans on the, the sizzle tray and everything. Really nice. Best I've had for a while. So that was fantastic. I'm not just saying that, I've never been here before. It was a fresh try, but really, really nice. Loved the black beans as well. Don't normally get that. Really flavoured chicken, not just grilled. It had the flavour to it. Really enjoyed it. Everyone's woofed all theirs. Um, so I do highly recommend it. For something different, a Mexican that the locals come to, it's not very touristy, come down, El Medano. Um, I'll leave the link in the description to the restaurant as well so you can check out the menu and everything. Um, really good so far. So that was Marla Vida, really nice Mexican in El Medano there. I do recommend it, we've never tried it before. We looked on the reviews, it had great reviews so we came down and tried it. Really, really nice. Uh, chicken fajitas were spot on. We're gonna now carry on to a crepe place for a dessert. So we're gonna have a crepe dessert. I might not with my diet, but we're gonna go and see uh, the different crepes you can get. Uh, my sister definitely wants one for a dessert. So we're gonna carry on the vlog and show you the crepes as well. So we're not done yet. <laughs> Just in the crepe place, uh, reading the menu, it's massive. You can get savoury crepes, sweet crepes, pretty much whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go for a Kinder, which is Nutella, biscuit, and white chocolate, or white chocolate sauce. And Sarah's gonna go for a Snickers, which is basically a load of Snickers in there by the looks of it. Look pretty cream. good, caramel ice cream. Almonds, everything. It's four euros, four, five euros, depend on what one you get. Um, not expensive, but fresh, made right in front of you. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. So there was a last minute change. Sarah's gone for the Fantasia now, which is white chocolate, marshmallows. So slight change. Should still be good, I think. So they've arrived and they look amazing. Sarah's got white chocolate buttons melting all over it, marshmallows. If you like desserts and crepes, definitely 
recommended. Guys, I'm defeated for the first time on a dessert. Amazing, really nice, but I am full. They're much bigger than you think, but really, really nice. Do come and check this place out. It's Bohemi, I think it's called, Boheme. Um, all the crepes are named after different places of Tenerife as well. So you've got special crepes with alcohol, other crepes, and they're named after places in Tenerife. So Villa Flor, Los Gigantes, Adeki. Loads of different crepes you can have. That was nice, but I am full. Oh, I'm gonna have to burn that off. Oh, amazing. So that is it for today. Thanks for joining us in El Medano. It was a really nice Mexican, really good crepe for dessert. Really unique little town. Come and check it out either in the day or the evening. It is really unique, really nice. 15 minutes from the airport, half an hour from Los Cris. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, drop a comment if you've been to El Medano before, if you're going to come, um, you can come on the bus or by car. And that's it for now. Stride on and um, see you soon once I've finished this crate. Bye guys. <laughs>